Hello everyone, welcome to All Things Construction. In this video, we are going to learn how ChatGPT can help us civil engineers in our day-to-day -day lives. Let's start with a simple one. Well, I did a detailed video on this, but let's see how ChatGPT can simplify this problem for us. So here's the prompt that we are giving ChatGPT. We have a slab. The dimensions are um, 10 meters by 20 meters by 0.6 meters. We want the quantities of cement, sand, aggregate and water. We are asking ChatGPT to take into consideration the dry volume and we're telling it that the concrete that we are using is M20 concrete. Simple prompt, not a lot of detail in there. Let's see what ChatGPT does. So first of all, it elaborates what exactly it is trying to do. First of all, it calculates the volume of the slab. Then it calculates, converts this wet volume into dry volume. It understands and uh, uses the formula based on the mix ratio of M20 concrete. That's 1 is to 1.5 is to 3. Then based on the formulas that we use in the video and that the formulas that we use on an everyday basis, it determines the quantities of all of the materials in less than 20 seconds. It also gives a disclaimer at the end that it is assuming the standard mix proportions and typical conditions. If we are using anything specific, maybe some special additives, etc., those will need to be taken into consideration. But at a broad level, in 20 seconds, we solved a problem that would take us, I don't know, at least a few more minutes. Now, Let's go a step further and ask ChatGPT to calculate and prepare the bar bending schedule for this slab. We are telling ChatGPT that our top bars are 16 mm, bottom bars are 10 mm. We are using 8 mm uh, diameter bars as chairs. We are asking it to take into consideration the development length and we're also telling it that the cover of the slab is five centimeters. Now, before we go ahead, please engage with the video, like, share, comment, subscribe, the whole lot. You know the drill. That way YouTube understands that you like what you saw and YouTube promotes these videos. I want to do this full time at some point. It needs your help. So please engage with the video, comment. Okay, then let's hit enter and see what chat GPT does for us. So first of all, what it does is again, it tells us what it's going to do. It summarizes the given data. Uh, it assumes the spacing, which we did not provide, calculates the effective length, calculates the development length, calculates the number of bars along each length, top bars and bottom bars. Also, it calculates the number of chair, a standard assumption, one chair per square meter. And that's it. It puts us, it puts it in a nice little table for us too, and also gives us the weights. So, all we need to bloody do is place the order for steel. Incredible, right? An important consideration here is that the construction industry is the most reluctant industry when it comes to adopting technology. But in a very short span of time, in my opinion, we will see companies and engineers use their GPT more and more in their day to day lives. While I definitely think that GPT will not replace civil engineers, but Civil engineers who are familiar with GPT and understand the prompts and how to use it correctly will definitely have greater chance of success in their careers. So this is a train that is about to depart from the station and you civil engineers definitely need to get on board. Now let's go one step further and go a little crazy and see what GPT does for us. Let's ask GPT to calculate the load bearing capacity of this slab. Now we are not giving it any parameters. We are not giving it anything. So let's see what it does and what assumptions uh, it takes. So it says to determine the load bearing capacity, it, it, several factors need to be considered, of course. So it summarizes the given data, <laughs> proceeds with the calculations, uh, considers the effective depth, starts calculating the area of steel, calculates the moment of resistance, uh, takes into consideration the characteristic strength of Concrete that's M20, so 20 uh, megapascals, and calculates the load bearing capacity also. Now, it also says that this estimation is done on simplified assumptions. Real world scenarios will need to be considered. So, what essentially I'm trying to tell you guys is 
if our parameters are well defined if we know for example in this case what the dead load is what the live load is what kind of slab it is the more parameters we provide gpt the better our results will get so the summary of this whole video is that we as civil engineers need to get better at providing prompts now it did a very good job of calculating the uh, load bearing capacity based on basic practically nothing it took some standard assumptions and calculated it for us but if i were to give it detailed parameters which normally i would have before i am designing a slab i would know what the live load is what the dead load is etc etc now if i feed all of those parameters into this prompt i think our results will be much 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 better i personally am still learning this thing i'm still trying to understand the prompt game what exactly the prompt should be like how detailed or how short they would be i will share my journey of exploring gpt with you guys as and when i learn more let's also bear in mind that the gpt version you see on the screen is the free version it can do a lot more with the pro version so i'm going to subscribe to that the next i will have it analyze the documents that we receive i will probably put a soil report in and ask gpt to analyze the soil report for us and many other things so Please stick to the channel, subscribe, turn the notifications on and I will see you all in the next video to explore ChatGPT for civil engineers together. Until then, happy building.